so Kerala remains a bizarre outpost of communism in the Indian continent. And top communist leaders like A.K. Gopalan seem disastrously split over Russia and China, as I found out when I talked to him on his tour of Kerala. Do you think the Chinese Communist, now, the Indian Communist Party, now it's split between China and Russia, see, can yeah. ever be effective in India? No question is, I see, as far as the Indian people are concerned, there is no question of China, China Communist or Russian Communist. Here the question is, after independence, the people here want some job, the people here wants to see that they increase their standard of living. That is the main question here. No. So if you mix up, you see China or Russia, and then say something, you see, the people here, that is not their problem is that they want, you see, that whatever development is there, the people must have a share in in, in that development. But I'm not mixing it up. It's the Indian Communist Party that are split into two parts and are even fighting no, each is, other in the election. That is an ideological thing. That has nothing to do with the administration and other things of but the But you people. can't get together. You can't get together. Can that you? is another question, you see. <laughs> Whether we can in course of time, suppose, you see, we think that, uh, see, correct ourselves if you are wrong. That is another question. Why hasn't, the, why hasn't the Indian Communist Party ever been very effective in India? Why hasn't it made an appeal to the people? No, Indian Communist Party had been very effective and it is becoming more effective. That is why the Congress is coming down and the Congress is, uh, you see, Indira Gandhi is getting stones, Kamaraj is beaten. So that does not show that he says. <laughs> <laughs> Congress is coming down, says Gopala. Gradually.